Hi, welcome to my channel, A Curly Journey, where I come to share with you all of our challenges, big and small, where good times happen and we learn to celebrate each other with each improvement and success we make. In this video today, I would love to share our small space transformation in hopes to encourage you to come along with me and rearrange furniture, declutter our toys and knickknacks, as well as our messy drawers. Here are the before shots of my small living space. I share a room with my toddler, as well as the kitchen dining areas are my small space. Today I'll be focusing here. I always start cleaning by opening up the windows and decluttering a little, removing things from the house, putting them inside the kitchen. Don't worry about the kitchen while you're trying to declutter or move furniture. That will just distract you and take up so much time. We have this mattress on the floor because my son loves to jump. We have neighbors downstairs, so it really works for the sound levels. The only problem is it takes up so much floor space. That's why we're doing this whole transformation. I started my load of laundry and now I'm gonna go start working on the living room. First I need to declutter and then I'm going to start moving stuff around. Gosh. Another great tip is to start removing things from off the floors. So this huge mattress had to go. I drew out my plans and made my list of exactly what I wanted to do with the room. I really don't know why, but my table always winds up being my catch-all area. Who knows why? I guess it's the workstation, tiny spaces. I'm gonna work this out. If you live in Hawaii like I do, shoes store up easy on the floors. So make sure you clean up underneath your beds and remove anything else that you can from the room to make it easier for the furniture to be moved around. So I had to use the hallway as a storage. <laughs> yeah, at least in some place. Um, clean up the toys, put everything that's loose away if you can. Okay, so I have a secret confession. Shh, don't tell anybody. I love reorganizing a room, turning everything around, moving everything for a really big reason. I get to remove everything from the room and put what I want back inside, which I love that. Okay, so everything is ready to go. I took everything down except for that lamp over there. Everything is flat so that you're able to move everything freely. Also, this area is ready to go. Kind of easy things. I have a couple little things to pick up and some shoes on the bottom of the rack, but that's okay. Um, this is where we're at right now. And I get some of finding things like Piper's little ball here. Some hair. Don't forget to get your tools ready. You need a vacuum, a broom, some all purpose cleaner, and some rags. I just realized that this DVD player does not work. It's going in the trash. It's out. When removing furniture, be careful. If it's too heavy, make sure you get some help. Wipe down the walls and the floors and start moving things around in different areas until you have a clear space of where you want to place your new items. Okay, so where I'm at right now is I really wanted that bookshelf right there. Uh, the bed's gonna go in this, this corner over here. It's coming together. I'm so excited to have my dining table back near the kitchen. I can't tell you. I figured it out, finally. Thank you, Mateo! Woo! Save the day. Okay, it's let's see it right now, but I think it'll work. What I wanted to do, 
I wanted to clear up this walkway area here and put that over there. The table kind of sideways so the chair can go back and forth between the desk and the table. And then we have another chair that's coming. So it'll all come together. Now, how to get this bed to fit there? Oh my gosh, what a pain, but it actually worked out. As you can tell, I really have no idea what to do with these dressers. And my son, he's trying to help the best he can, but I'm so thankful he's there keeping me company. Okay, please tell me in the comments, which one should I keep? This TV stand that holds toys perfectly fine or this cute little caddy, but it makes it fall down. I honestly did not know he had so many toys. Oh my gosh, time to go through all of this right now. So happy we clean this. Look, what is it? Ah! Okay, so all of you who decided I should get the TV stand and use that as a toy caddy was right on. High five. This is going in the trash. Okay, so we decided to get rid of these items here. Um, we might be keeping this just because it's a good quality and he can use it with his magnetic letters. This still feels like way too much stuff. Ooh, here we go. Popsicle break, and we're back at it. So my son is sleeping over there, but um, what do we have progress up so far? Okay, let two. And then I'm gonna have these art supplies here. I have a couple drawers that, yeah, need some help. Okay, so I need to be totally realistic with you. I'm not going to get this house straightened up in one day. We're going to have to split this into two videos. So if you'd like to see the next video where I declutter, please subscribe and like this video and come back again soon. It's so good to have you here today. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful new year. Um, yeah, this came from all over. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.